Hello guys and welcome to a video by me Bullet Bullets. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to create your own custom design background for Twitter. Now sorry if you don't use Twitter but obviously this is for Twitter users only. Um, it's a site called freetwitterdesigner.com and you're able to then create your own custom background. For instance I have my own one with a box around all this with a, cust uh, with a pixelized picture of my face with a bird nibbling on the words Reese Bullet and you can see this will obviously travel around when I scroll up and down. Now it's really easy to create these, you use a site called freetwitterdesigner.com and here's the site. When you first go onto this it will ask you if you want to sign in using Twitter or if you would rather just um, sign, come in without an account and then you can apply all the settings yourself. And the reason why I think you should use Twitter, which I am doing, I am going straight through Twitter, is because then at the very end you can actually make it apply all the changes to your Twitter itself. Um, so it will change your own background, it will change the colours, set it all right and it's just so much easier. Um, so yes, all you have to do is you click to sign in with Twitter, you put in your username and password, um, I think you, you put your password in if it asks you to that is. It will then redirect you to Twitter where you click allow or deny, allow it, it will bring you back to here and it should work. Now uh, choose a template first of all, of which I have my eye on this one, I think this one looks really good, and then you click let's get started. It will then bring you to this, of where you will have your picture that you've selected, your template and the sides. You have a fake Twitter part here, it will just show you what it would look like. Um, you're able to generate the image, clear all, and change theme, which is this one I just checked. You can change all the Twitter colors, so the background, the links, the text, the sideboard, uh, and the sidebar. Um, your view, so your resolution, I think it's picked it up itself. Um, you can then add in text, you can add in a shape, and you can add in your own custom images. Um, so for instance, I'm going to add in some text, and I'm going to change the font to plain black. And I'm going to put in Reese Bullet. Place text. It will always place it over here. Always it places it here. Um, you can then resize your text, which I am doing currently. And I am going to have that like that. And have the word Reese Bullet slightly over the bird. But I don't want it that big. So that's my first part. Um, then I want to change the sidebar color to black. No, I can't change that to black because I need the side. Okay, I'll change that to white. And then the text to green. And the links to blue. And the background to. What should I change the background to? I love a blue. But that's going to say like that. So I need the background red still. Oh, where's the correct red? I think that would just have to do it because I've messed this up now. Yeah, well, that doesn't matter. Well, obviously, it's going to have the, uh, the custom color there already, which I completely forgot about for the background. Um, therefore, it's going to look different if you change the color, of which I can't seem to find again now, but it doesn't matter. So, um, as is only an example, you can then add shapes. So, I will add a circle, of which is what I had done earlier. So let me move it. This isn't going to look very nice, by the way, because I'm only doing it quickly. So you've then got your circle for it. And actually, you can even clone it as well, if you just click clone here. You're able to then actually clone the image, of which I plan to do now. And you can obviously move the clone as well, but for some reason I'm not going to. I'm then going to move this to here. And just leave it like that. So you can use uh, a shapes as well. And you can even add your own images in, with which I will add my own in. And this one is called Reese, and this is a picture you saw a minute ago of myself. Um, and then you can add that wherever you like, and I'll just put that there. It's going to be too big. And then all you have to do then is click Generate Image. And obviously, you're going to put a lot more effort into yours. Um, now it will then come up generate an image and once that gets to 100% you're able to save the image straight to your computer or export it to Twitter. You can only export it to Twitter if you are signed in using your Twitter account at the beginning like I explained. So once you've then done that click export to Twitter it will then come up please wait and it will come up export in Twitter, image to Twitter, the colors which 
is the thing that I was right about, and then congratulations, you're done. Now you click take me to Twitter, and it will do it. Now this was beforehand to my custom one that I'd made, and this is after. It does that every time I go into any website, by the way, for some reason, I don't know why. And then you will have your custom Twitter. Now as I said, I didn't put any effort into this whatsoever, but uh, as you can see here, I've now got the bird that I added in with the bad colour, uh, and it says Reese Bullet over it. Uh, I've got my image that I put in and my tons of circles that I put in as well. So as you can see, this does look completely not really terrible, my one. Um, and that's because I did really put no effort into it whatsoever. Um, as I did say, I was doing it really quickly. But this is just a video preview on the site, so you can actually custom make your own backgrounds. And it even does say on here somewhere that you're able to create your own professional ones for free, yeah. The tool below will help you create free Twitter backgrounds that have the same look and feel as those done by professional graphic designers. So as you can see it really isn't hard and I must be stupid because I could make an okay looking one. Um, but I just made a really bad one there. <laughs> so this is just a quick video by me Bullet Bullets. If you do like my videos please do hit subscribe. I'll leave a link in the description to come and find um, free Twitter designs. And also I'll leave a link in the description to come and follow me on Twitter. Um, thanks for watching.